If that had been a wild boar, you'd have missed. If that had been a wild boar, he wouldn't have been in our backyard. Well, now, that ain't necessarily so. This is Bo and Luke Duke. They're cousins. They fight the system. Any system. This is Hazard County, where you never know what's going to happen next. Hey, everybody! Listen! It's my song! Jesse Coulter is singing my song! Come on! I wrote this song! I wrote it! That's Cousin Daisy. She works as a waitress, but aspires to better things. A Daisy can cause more trouble than a brand new baby. Uncle Jesse is the Duke Patriarch. His word is law, usually obeyed out of love, but always obeyed. Well, who'd you say that was singing? It's Jesse Coulter. And for all you folks ignorant of good music, Jesse Coulter is one of the world's best singers, though I'm partial to June Carter myself. And that was Jesse Coulter's latest on the Big 40 Country Hits album. I just can't believe it. <laughs> that sounded real good, Daisy. It took me forever to write the notes down. And, and after all these years of writing songs, I sent it to this music publisher, and now Jesse Coulter is singing it. Well, that's great, Daisy. Uh, how much did they pay you? Uh, pay? Well, they did pay you. No, I paid them. That's the sort of business we ought to have. Well, there was this magazine ad where you pay $50 and they publish your song. So I saved up all my tip money till I had enough, and I sent my song in, and I got this letter back saying it was published. Now, Daisy, uh, some of those ads are for phony operations. You think Daisy's been took? Well, they got Daisy's song. Jesse Coulter got a recording, and Daisy's got $50 less than she had before. That's took. And $50 in nickel tips ain't easy to come by. When you record a song, you're supposed to get royalties. Well, uh, where is this publishing company anyway? It's Lester Star Music Publishing in Atlanta. That place ain't been right since Sherman burned it. Now, come on. I'll bet this Mr. Star just made an oversight. Think we ought to go into Atlanta and check it out? Maybe you ought. But, uh... You gotta remember, boys, you gotta give them city people the benefit of the doubt. It ain't right to take advantage of them just because they don't know no better, so just keep it simple. General Lee was their racing car. They built him from the wheels up. Although they had another car, when the boys expected trouble, they drove the general, which meant they drove him a lot. Now, why can't I go with you? It's my song. Because huh? Jesse told us to handle it. Okay. But y'all be careful now. Uh-oh. Smell like the law, don't it? <laughs> 